Ethereum's massive move is coming sooner than you think, and in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why Ethereum in quarter one is going to pump close to 70-80%, so stay tuned. Ethereum is currently sitting at number two at $2,200 with a market cap of $266 billion. We've seen a massive rally in all coins. Ethereum stayed pretty quiet, up only 6% over the last 30 days, one of the lowest gainers in the top 10 outside of XRP. Now, Ethereum against Bitcoin has been bleeding. This is the one-day chart, Ethereum versus Bitcoin. It has been bleeding since September of last year. But the good news is if we take a look here, we are at all-time support for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. So the only move here is for Ethereum to continue to go up, retest this top trend line, and then skyrocket forward. As far as Ethereum's ecosystem, let's not forget, guys, $366 billion of Ethereum ecosystem value currently with over 1,261 ERC-20 token contracts. This does not include the ERC-721 contracts, which is mainly for Ethereum NFTs. Total value locked, Ethereum is king, coming in at 28 billion dollars in tvl and this thing has been gaining traction since october of this year where it was only at 20 billion so we went from 20 to currently 28 billion dollars in eth tvl on DeFi. and although on the shorter time frame ethereum nft sales has been diminishing over the last 30 days it has still brought in over 374 million dollars in sales and all time ethereum is massively, massively outperformed the likes of Solana, Ronin, Bitcoin, Polygon, coming in at a smidge under $42 billion. The next highest one is Solana, coming in at $4.5 billion. Once the NFT market starts to come back, expect those numbers to start going up again for Ethereum. Then we have this, uh, love him or hate him, JP Morgan Chase, a lot of resources, a lot of smart people that work there. They believe Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin in 2024. And a big reason they give is the Ethereum spot ETF potential in Q2 of 2024. This is from Coinpedia.org. Ethereum gears up for a bullish 2024. Analysts uh, I spot ETF approval for a 50% surge. This is a uh, from Money.us News. Ethereum ETF, how BlackRock's proposal affects crypto's outlook. Uh, BlackRock ETF approval. Ethereum price will hit $28,000. Now, Everything changed for Bitcoin when BlackRock applied for a spot ETF as they have only gotten denied on one out of 576 ETF proposals. Denied on only one. That is a success rate of 99.999999%. And well, they're in the running for an Ethereum spot ETF as well. These guys know what they're doing. Also from Fidelity, they are also looking to get into it as well. This is from Cointelegraph. Fidelity seeks green light for Ethereum ETF following BlackRock's filing. Now, what's unique about the Ethereum ETF potential is compared to Bitcoin, you have Bitcoin with the issuance. With the ETH upgrade from proof of work to proof of stake, Ethereum, when the transactions are high, becomes deflationary. So add in deflationary Ethereum tokenomics, throw in a spot ETF where these ETF filers and issuers are going to go out and have to buy the physical Ethereum tokens and then add in liquid staking starting to take hold. And who knows? Will the likes of BlackRock, Fidelity, Wisdom Tree, will they buy the Ethereum for the spot ETF, but also liquid stake it on the back end to earn yield for not only themselves, but for potentially for their ETF holders? Potentially, yes. Also, big, big, big upgrade coming to Ethereum. That is EIP4844, also known as as the Cancun Deneb upgrade that is set to begin testing on January 7th. Now, what is this going to do? EIP4844 is going to introduce sharding. This is from the uh, eip.ethereum.org. As you can see here, this is going to make rollups cheaper, faster, and more practical to use. So think of loopring. Think of Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism. It's going to be a lot cheaper and faster to interact with Ethereum Layer 2s. Also here, speaking of EIPs, 
I spoke of the deflationary mechanics of Ethereum's tokenomics. Well, EIP-1559, which was launched last year, we've seen a total of 3.8 million Ethereum tokens burnt, which is around $10.7 billion of Ethereum has been burnt in its tokenomics. You can see here on this chart, we have seen a, a big spike up since, since uh, this was January of this year. We're currently sitting at 2.7 million. And we are now sitting at 3.8 million Ethereum that has been burnt with the highest daily burn coming in at 71,700 Ethereum burnt. Now, talked about the merge and Ethereum tokenomics. So this is from ethereum.org, how the merge impacted ETH supply. And this little box here, I want to read some stats here. ETH issuance TLDR before transitioning to proof of stake. Miners were issued approximately 13,000 ETH per day. Now, with Ethereum being proof of stake, that number has dropped all the way down to only 1,700 ETH per day based on about 14 million total ETH staked. The exact staking issuance fluctuates. Also, since the merge, only 1,700 ETH per day remains, dropping total new issuance of ETH by 88%. 88%. Then we take a look at the daily Ether burnt chart. I want to compare this to the spikes in ETH burned versus how the price has reacted. So here I've zoned in. This is a uh, from January 2022 through July of 2022. And if we take a look at Ethereum here in the same time frame, we take a look here. Ethereum gain in that same time frame, 48% in the price of Ethereum appreciated. And so we see a direct correlation of what happens when ETH gets burned. We see a spike in that to the price of Ethereum in the spot markets. Also here, the supply growth chart, as you can see, it is starting to tail off, right? We saw a cliff. And then once the uh, proof of stake merge went live, we're starting to see the daily issuance of Ethereum start to cap off. A lot of things are working for Ethereum. Then staking, what does that bring? It takes coins out of circulation as people stake it to earn rewards. As you can see here, this is on ethereum.org. 28 million Ethereum is staked with over 895,000 validators earning about 3.5% APR on Ethereum. Now I mentioned Q1, we're going to see a big move in Ethereum. Why? Well, historically, to get Ethereum quarterly returns, on average, Ethereum in Q1 has gained 97.48%. That is on average, that is by far the best quarter for Ethereum, period, with Q2 coming in at number two at 75%. So we can see a massive first half of Ethereum going in to 2024. As far as some price targets, this is ETH on the daily. Again, I have the 10-day and the 21-day exponential moving average and i want to point a note here anytime we have dipped below the 21 day moving average eth has seen a massive rally let's take a look here back on october of this year we saw eth rally about 20 percent back in this was november of this year dipping briefly below this 21 day moving average eth saw a short-term rally of about 12 percent and guess what guys we have officially crossed below the 21-day exponential moving average for Ethereum. If this thing does decide to dip lower or even wick lower, I would expect to see immediate support at the lower band here at about $2,100. And if we see a similar 10 to 15% move in Ethereum, you are looking at, my friends, we are looking at, I'm going to zoom this down, we're looking at about a $2,500 Ethereum. And that is going in to the best quarter for Ethereum all time. We are bullish on Ethereum. Are you? Let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure to check out our live show Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.